hip hinge. Now we're going to see Julie just lightly grab the tube on the close side and she's going to tilt the tube away from her as she squats down into a deep, deep hip hinge pattern and she inhales back up. And she's going to exhale and do it again. We're going to tie all these to breath. It's a first warm up. Just way to get the body going, energized. And we're going to do four in this direction. And then we have one more for four. And now Julie's going to turn to the side so you can see a little bit different variation. And then she's going to do the same thing again. You're going to see that same pattern, that nice deep hip hinge. And now she's turning and looking under her armpit. And she turns. And she's going to do it again. And she's going to turn the other way and look under her armpit. And when you do that, your tail feathers go in the opposite direction. So if she looks left, her tail feathers go right. And if she goes down and looks right, her tail feathers kind of shift left a little bit. And it's a nice way to warm up that deep gristle in that lower back. So she's doing a couple more than her. And one more, Julie. And it just feels good. Side stretch. So Julie's standing with her feet hip width apart right against the edge of the mat. The tube is on the mat right at the same edge and the tube is just going to track down the edge of that mat as she sits away from the direction of the tube as it tilts and she gets a nice stretch in those lats. She's going to go the same direction four times. Inhale, exhale folks. Notice how that her left leg is straight as she sits back into that right hip and we stretch all that right waist, hip complex, should feel really good. Now she's going to go the other direction. And here we go again. And we use that sticky mat just so the tube doesn't walk away from us. Sometimes it wants to walk away from us. We want to make sure that tube stays right at the edge of the mat. And you don't have to have a mat, but it should kind of helps kind of ground the tube, peg the tube into the ground. And she's got four to one side, four to the other. Now, why don't we do uh, alternating for eight, folks? So here we go. We're going to alternate for eight. And again, we need to her to keep that tube right along, tracking down the edge of that mat. You can hear her breathing as she's tying everything to breath. We're watching the tube. It might want to walk away from you. Keep that tube towards the edge of the mat if you can. I think this is the last one. And there we have it, folks. Side stretch. Feels good. Alternating side stretch. Now, Julie's going to put the tube to the side right along the edge of the mat. And she's going to shift the tube all the way around to the edge and all the way around to the edge. So she's staying down now. It's different than the last exercise where she was standing between each of our side stretches. Now she's just staying down and she's practicing that nice weight shift from side to side. Again, that tube is walking away from her a little bit. So we're gonna cue her to pull that tube back into the edge. And the side stretch is much better if you keep that tube right in front of your toes. And again, we're kind of going back and forth for eight or so. And let's, let's do four more, Julie. So that's one, two, three, four, alternating side stretch. Ooh. Forward lunge, variation one. Tube tilts towards Julie. She steps out with the outside foot. She just drops that back knee as she stretches those quads and those hip flexors and all that good stuff. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then she goes the other side of the tube. Again, the tube tilts towards her and it's completely vertical when she steps out as that back knee vertically drops towards the floor. The tube is vertical, the back knee is vertical right towards the floor. That's three, right? Four, 
five, six, seven, eight. And folks, I know eights are a number, but these things are so darn good. We're going to do it from the side just so you can see how this tube uh, tilts towards Julie and how it goes vertical when she steps out. One, two. And that's four, five, six, seven, and that's eight. Good. Other side of the tube. Here we go. Steps out with the outside foot again. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Forward lunge, variation one. Nice. Forward lunge, variation two. Now the tube is right next to Julie. As Julie steps out with that outside foot again, she's going to tilt the tube over that toe. And again, she's going to do eight. So follow along. And she's kind of just pushing back with that little ground reaction force. And as she tilts that tube over the foot, she's getting a nice stretch in that left glute. And then she's going to do the other side. So again, the tube is right next to you. And you step out with the outside foot. And you just tilt the tube forward over the toe over the toe box of the shoe. Five. And here's seven. And here's eight. So folks, that looks so good. We're going to do that again. Now she's going to do it from the side. And you can, I want you to see another angle on this. Um, as that, how that glute is working and stretching. So now that left leg, notice how when the torso kind of hinges forward there at the hip and just she lunges out, she's getting a nice stretch and activation in those glutes. Now to the other side. Yep, other side. Again, right next to the tube, she steps out. And this is two. She's going to eight. Uh, four. Oh, four, <laughs> three, four. And there we have it. Forward lunge variation three. Now Julie's going to hold the tube above her head, above the crown of her head. She's going to step out with her left foot. Boom. She's going to drop that right knee. She's going to twist into that forward leg. Where her eyes go, her body goes, she's going to turn back to center. And she's going to push back to standing. We'll do four of these folks. Just this deliberate. Drop. Turn to the center, push, step, drop, turn to the center, push, and one more as we break it down, drop, turn to the center, and push. Now Julie's going to blend that together for four. Boom. And she's going to push back. Boom. She pushes back. Boom. She pushes back. She twists beautiful. Pushes back. She can take a little break here. Huff, huff. Yeah, yeah. Remember to breathe through these two. That's a good thing to do. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Exactly. You're, you're holding a tube above your head, so this is cardio, folks. Here we go. We're going to break this one down. She steps out. She drops the knee. She turns into that forward leg, twists her body. Look at that shirt. That's showing what's happening to her torso and her myofascia underneath. Those obliques. Oh, it's a nice stretch. She pushes back. She drops, she turns, center, push back. She steps, drops, turns, center, push back. And that's four, right? Here we go. Now she's going to blend it, and you can blend it too. So blend it with Julie. And again, we're showing eight, but you can do as many as you want, folks. And there we have it, forward lunge, variation three. Side lunge, right, right, left, left. So 
uh, with the tube on the sticky mat, it'll keep it grounded for us. And then Julie's just gonna do a side lunge out to the side. And if she goes with her left foot out, that side lunge, the tube just flops into that left hand, same side, left leg, left hand. Notice that the foot, knee, and hip is all in a line. And as she pushes back, so we really upregulate. That's eight, other side. And this will be a little cardio now. So we build in cardio into these routines. And again, foot, knee, hip, all in a line. The tube just falls down into our right hand as our right foot steps out into the side lunge pattern. Last one? Yeah, and we normally say eight reps, and that's good. We're gonna go on, folks. If you wanna follow along, keep on going. So we're gonna alternate now, just show you that variation, and we're gonna alternate for eight. And that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now get ready. Now we're gonna do quick feet. So for you tennis players at the baseline, you gotta pick up that pace and it's kind of good for athletics. So just quick step, quick step. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got it. Huff, huff, rest, rest. You can do as many of those as you want. It's cardio now. So you can see Julie breathe. And now we're going to try to pop through the middle. So it's really quick. Actually, boom, 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 five, six. We got it. Keep on going, Julie. Keep on going. Keep on going. Don't stop. Don't stop. The tube's walking off the mat. Who cares, folks? Keep on going. Boom, boom. Eight more. Oh, that's enough. Eight more if you want. She stopped. <sighs> Side lunge, right, left, left, right. Now uh, we can see that the tube is still on that yoga sticky mat, just so it kind of grounds for us, kind of sticks to the floor. And then uh, this time when Julie's going to step out with her left foot, uh, she's going to turn, hold the tube with her right and she has that nice, beautiful twist. The first four are really deep and slow, very deep and slow. Just stretch everything out. It should feel really good. And now Julie can just do four more at her own pace, whatever she feels with your internal rhythm. And again, this is great activation for sports, any transverse twisty plane stuff, right? Yeah. Now, we're gonna do uh, eight with quick feet. Just because we have quick feet doesn't mean, you know, mm -hmm. we got to go crazy, but we just kind of shift the feet. That's all we're doing. Just shift the feet for eight. And we're just getting that cardio up going a little again. Again, the foot, knee, hip is all in the line as we're using the opposite hand and arm. And then we're going to do eight of these. Is that eight, Julie? Yep. Okay. That's eight. <laughs> okay. Now get ready. Now she's huffing now. I hope you're huffing just a little bit. Now we're going to pop to the middle for 16, which is plyometric. So that's really going to get the pulse up. So again, we don't have to go too fast, but we just pop to the middle. Now pop to that foot, right foot, pop. And we push off that left foot, push off the right foot, push off, push off. So we're still getting that pretty good range of motion. Maybe it's a little short. What's our number, Julie? 10. 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Woo! And that's it, that's cardio, folks. Box steps. So Julie's standing to the side of the tube. We're just using the tube as a prop, uh, just so we can get our balance. She's gonna root into her right leg, her foot, it feels like a three foot root going into the ground. And then with that left leg, she's going to like, she's going to protect herself. Internal rotation, external rotation as she steps over her box and she gently puts the foot down. Internal, external, gently put the foot down. Just two more this direction. If it feels really good, do more. And we're just stepping over our imaginary box. Now, uh, no, we're going to stay on the same side, Julie. And now we're going to go out to in. So we're going to do external rotation. And then she's going to come up and over the box and straight down through middle. No internal rotation, just external, up over, right down the middle. And the soft landing again. And if you have soft landings, you know that you're balancing pretty well. 
with that standing leg. And that's it. Just that simple box steps. We're mobilizing that hip. Now she shifts to the other side. And again, the same thing, folks. She's going to root into her left leg and that left foot, three foot root, growing into the earth as she steps up and over that box. Internal rotation, external rotation, soft landing. Internal, external rotation, soft landing. One more for four. Ah, nice. Now she's going to do external rotation, up and over, and then right down through. External, up and over our imaginary box. External, just activating those deep hip rotator muscles a different way by doing this. And it's that simple. T-spine mobilization. That's your thoracic spine, your ribby spine. Okay, so Julie's going to hinge over at 90 degrees. That's really important. We're going to lock in that lumbar. And she's going to reach under her arm towards camera like she's grabbing a grapefruit, palming a grapefruit, and she shows that grapefruit to that far wall. She reaches under, and notice, see how her shirt is twisting, and we know she's getting really nice thoracic spine mobilization. Again, that's one of our smart sisters protecting our poor dumb brother lumbar, who doesn't like to move very much at all, and we keep him not moving by at that 90 degree hinge pattern. Now she's reaching under and she's opening up towards us. And about four each side, folks. If it feels good, keep on going. And again, for you golfers and tennis players and whatever racket, ball sport people, this is nice stuff. Very good. That's good. Single leg piston ankle mobility. Boy, that just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? That's a cumbersome name for an exercise. Just follow along, folks. Okay, so Julie's standing right next to the tube, and she's just having that left foot go out on that glider plate. It could be a pla plastic picnic plate for four times. And then she's going to go to the 130 position. Again, her right thigh just slides down the tube. She stays next to the tube. That right leg is pistoning. That's where that comes from. And that ankle is getting mobile by having all these different loads on it in these different directions. And that would be her right ankle. We're getting mobile here. Now, it's very important here. And we're going to do four more in this direction, Julie, that same three o'clock. And we're going to just, that her foot points towards camera. Points where, and then she pigeon toes out there and comes in. Break it down. Now, nope, let's do one more. Go out, stay out. Pigeon toe for me. There. And now draw in. That's it, folks. That's what, you, that's what you want. Pigeon toe in out there, and that really activates those adductor muscles. Okay? Now, she's going to go back to the 430 position, and notice that she's probably going to get deeper in her lunge patterns, and I'd like to have her right hand kind of slide down the tube for me. There. And now we can see she's really kind of pistoning down and getting deeper and deeper, and she does her four. Get ready for the six o'clock position, right and back. Again, different loads on that right ankle. It's ankle mobility. We'd like a smart sister ankle to protect our poor dumb brother knee. Ooh. Okay, now, that should stay there. Up, up. Oh. Uh, we're not moving, folks. All right. You're burning. That's why you want to get out of that. We know it. <laughs> now she's going to scoot that thing around at the 730 oh. position. And there. And then she's going to see if she can now go deep enough where she can pick up a quarter off the top of her shoe. Try for the knee first, then the shin, but then if you can go down and pick up that quarter, we got it. And she's giving us an extra one here. Give us one more for six in this direction. It's so darn good. There. There we have it. Good. Switch sides? Yeah. So that's the real money shot, folks, is that 730 at the end. I really like that one. Very athletic. Looks beautiful. Here she is. And it's a 12 o'clock position for four. Seam. And the seam of the viper tube is right along the seam of her pants. And she's just sliding down the seam of the viper tube. Four in the 12 o'clock. Four at the 130. Okay, now let's, we're going to do eight here to kind of match our other side. Foot straight ahead. Pigeon toe in, pull in. Foot straight ahead. So I'm going to have her exaggerate, foot straight ahead, pigeon toe, pull in. Yep, exaggerate that. 
Foot straight ahead, pigeon toe, pull in. Foot straight ahead, pigeon toe, pull in. So those adductors for you tennis players and you other golfers or whatever the heck you play, that's gonna be really good for you. All right, all sports, here we go. Back at the 430 position, and now the hand just slides down the tube as her thigh slides down the tube and hip. And that foot goes back deeper and deeper as we go back into these reverse lunge patterns. And then she might soon go straight back and oops, she hit the wall. So make sure you have a lot of room in the back of you. There you go. And notice how the leg is pretty straight back there. Her rear leg is pretty straight. She just slides down the tube and gets really deep in these six o'clock positions for four. And she's got those, right? Now, money shot, folks. 7.30, hook around, touch the knee. Hook around, touch mid thigh, uh, mid shin, sorry. Hook around, touch the ankle. And now, hook around, touch toe. Let's do four more, touching that toe now. One, two, three, like we're picking a quarter up off the toe. There we have it. Single leg piston ankle mobility. Ooh. Bazookas. Great way to mobilize the spine and get a bunch of stuff going here. So Julie's going to step out with her right foot and the tube's going to go over her left shoulder right to the camera, right to you guys. And she's going to step on back. Let's do four of those folks. Two. Three, four. Notice her hands are in the neutral grip. This is the easy way. Now she's gonna step out with her left leg and it's gonna shoulder over her right shoulder. Let's do four, folks. That's one, two, three, and four. So that's the easy way. So we're gonna progress this exercise. Now, she's gonna step out with her right leg and it's going to go over her right shoulder. So she's got to twist more with that. That's one, two, three, four. Okay, so think about it. It's going to be left leg, left shoulder. Left leg, left shoulder now. That's the warm-up, folks. This is the real exercise shown in the book. So we're going to hold it by the end of the Viper tube with the seam up. Seam up. I want her thumbs to be able to rub that little seam there. And that's the strong geometry of that Viper tube. Okay? Now she's going to catch her breath a little bit because we're going to do a full eight each side. And this is the exercise that we would have in the book. Okay? Right, right, right. Yeah. Right leg, right shoulder for eight. Here she goes. And that thoracic spine is really going to be twisting around with that wide grip. Two, three, four. And it's cardio. Five. And it's stretching and activating. And here we have seven, right? Yes. And here we have eight. Sometimes I lose count, folks. I, you know, oh. it's terrible. Huff, huff. Rest, rest. It's cardio. It's leg strength. Good. It's extensibility, it's mobility. Boom, one, two, three, five, six, keep on breathing with Julie, seven, eight, bazookas. And you can do more. <laughs> <laughs> Punch, mid, low, high. Here we go. We're gonna watch Miss Julie and she's gonna punch. And we're gonna notice that she's pivoting on those back feet there as she punches for four. And then she's gonna go, is that four or more? Okay, good. And low for one, two, three, four. Each position high now. One, two, three, four. So that's probably it, folks. That's probably good enough. Uh, but for you people that want to work out more, let's work out more. So Julie's going to pick up a heavier tube. She's going to put that six kilogram down and pick up the eight kilogram. Now this is only 4.4 pounds more, but what a difference it makes when it's away from your body. That's shift training, folks. And we're doing shift training. So we're going to punch in the middle for four and one, two, three.
three, four, go low, boom, 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 high, boom, 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 boom. And if you want to keep on going, keep on going, but we'll stop there. <laughs>「So Julie's going to hold the tube right above the crown of her head about six to eight inches and she's going to step out to the side, lateral lunge, she locks out that arm, steps out the side for two, locks out the arm, and here we go folks, follow along, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight's our number. Now we're gonna keep on going and Julie's gonna pick up a heavier tube. So if you wanna work out and you only have one tube, just do another set. And if you have a heavier tube, try picking it up. And here we go. So again, it's only 4.4 pounds more. It and it makes a difference. And we're building shoulder strength. One, two, and really try to lock out that arm, that elbow. Four, there we go. Is that five, six, Seven, eight, Ooh. beautiful. Now Julie's gonna pick up that 16 kilogram tube. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. That looks great. <laughs> hey Loft. Well, we learned a punch pattern. Now we're gonna put it with some motion here and Julie's gonna go ahead and step like she's picking up a load of hay and she's gonna step that foot out to the wall and put the hay up over her shoulder, a little bit to the back. See a little twist, and that's three, three, four, four. Really trying to put that foot out towards the wall if you can. External rotation of that hip. Is this seven, Julie? I don't know. Seven. Let's call it seven. I think that's eight. Yeah, that's good, eight. Okay, the other side. All right, folks, we're just kind of loose around here. One, one, two, two. And she's going to try to turn that foot out a little more. Three, three. Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. And we said eight's our number, eight to each side, so that's nice. But Julie's going to pick up that next tube again. So that's kind of the theme here at the end in our third column of exercises in the book. Just four more pounds. And just 4.4 .4 more pounds. Uh, here we go. Yeah, a little huffy. We want to be huffy. Two, two, three, three, four, four. Yeah, it's cardio. Five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Do we want to rest? No, we don't. No, we don't. We want to keep on going because it's cardio. And we want to do a sustained cardio interval. Two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Ha, ah, breathe. Oh God, I'm 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 tired watching you. Yeah, I mean. Reverse lunge, moon arcs. Yeah, we make these names up. Who the heck knows what these things are? Uh, we're gonna start with a, um, we're gonna clean it first. Clean, and press it right overhead. Julie's gonna do a reverse lunge. Nice wide stance, she gets low. And she arcs over, elbow into her waist. Arcs over, elbow into her waist. Press to stand to the chest and release. Three more that side, here we go. And it's a clean, whoop, to press, reverse lunge. Get nice and low, get a nice wide stance, get your balance first, there's no hurry here. Arc, arc, press to stand, chest, release. That's two, we're halfway on this side. Clean, press, reverse lunge. Arc, arc, press to stand, chest, release. Last one, clean. Press, reverse lunge, low, arc, arc, press to stand, chest, release. Ooh. Okay, huff, huff, <sighs> huff, huff, rest, rest. Get mentally prepared, other side for four. 
same gig. And we're going to do clean, press, reverse lunge, down, elbow in, elbow in as we arc, press to stand, chest, and release. Number two. And it's a clean, and it's a press. Reverse lunge, get low, boom, boom. Press to stand, chest, release. Halfway to the side, she gets low. Press to stand, fourth one folks, fourth one. And then we get a little bit of a rest. Oops, this way. Uh, I'll go over the forward leg first, but doesn't matter. Ah. There we have it. So, I know you guys are huffing out there, and Julie's huffing, but we want to see you huff more. At least I do. I'll bet I'll huff more. Because we're, we're trainers. That's what trainers do. And we want to keep that cardio going. So Julie's going to pick up, oh my goodness, this eight. And you're, you're going to feel the difference. And she had a good point there. Do we go over, you know, I like going over that forward leg first. Just keep it, you know, consistent. So the what forward, front leg first, you mean? Right? Yeah, that, yeah, that forward leg. We do the moon arc. Here we go. Okay, hold on. All right. Okay. And it's a clean to press, reverse lunge. She goes over. Oh, this side. Nope. Forward leg oh, first. This forward side. leg. I'll do it next time. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Clean. Press. Reverse lunge. Forward leg. There you go. Press the stand. And release. Clean. Press. Good wide stance. Press the stand. And here's four. <sighs> Clean. Press. Yeah, that tube over your head. That's what's getting that heart rate up, folks. These are no joke. <laughs> and we're just resting now. Yeah. Here we go. Other leg now. Nice low. Forward leg. Open side. Press to stand. Chest released. Clean. Press. Reverse lunge. Forward leg. Other leg. Press to stand. Chest release. Clean, press, reverse lunge, arc, arc, press the stand, and just one more, last one folks, hang in there, hang in there, breathe, press, reverse lunge, arc, arc, press the stand, chest, release, congratulations folks. Woo. Yeah baby. Vertical tube lift. I kind of call these the burpees of the Viper world here. Uh, so uh, we're going to start from one. Here we go. And we're going to throw it up two. Catch it at three. Catch it at four. Catch it at three. Catch it at two. One. Keep on going to two, three, four, three, two, one. Third time. Two, three, four, three, two, one. Here's four. Two, three, four, three, two, one. Okay. So that's getting that chest pumped up here. Uh, we're going to have Julie stand to the side now. And I'm not going to make her go get a heavier tube because we want to get this pattern down pretty good here. Um, and you definitely want to build that strength up, especially through your shoulders and those anterior um, deltoid fibers and pec fibers and stuff. We want to get that kind of built up first. Here we go. So we're going to watch and it's two. And we try to throw that tube up straight, huh? Three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two, one. Halfway. Two, three, four, three, two, one. Last one. Two, three, four, three, two, one. And that's it, folks. Viper tube. Great workout. <laughs>